Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 in our Plotly crash course. We're going to finish off Plotly Express and to do that we're going to build some bar charts and just consolidate what we've seen earlier before we move on to graph objects. And now let's talk about bar charts. And I want to start with a very basic example again. So we're going to get just one country. Let's get, let's get Germany. So now we have Germany results for every year. And we're going to do a simple comparison year per year. So PX bar, DF X here, and the Y, let's say it's population. And here you go, simple bar chart, year by year, Germany's population. And you can quickly change to United States. Okay. So, now that's an easy one. And at this point, let me get a different data frame this time. And I'm going to do a group by. So I'm going to do a group by that's going to look like this. So I grouped every continent, every year continent, and I summed the, um, the results per continent. Let's make a really nice bar chart with a lot of facets. So you probably guessed it, px dot bar df rx is going to be continent. Our y is going to be the population. Our color is going to be continent as well. I'm going to use a template, different one, ggplot here. What else? Uh, whoops. What else? Let's add a title. You can also add a title like this. You don't need to add a title like we did before. You can also add it here. And this is going to be world. Population by continent. We're going to need a facet. This is going to be the year. So every column is a different year. And I'm going to use a different argument here. So the facet call wrap is going to be four. And this is going to force our columns to to have a maximum of four charts. Let's see what this does. Well, wow, that's really nice. So you have 12 different charts with, let's call it one liner. <laughs> so very few, very little customization and you have a very nice chart. So you can then do the same interactive things. You can even compare just, just these two countries. Well, if I can... Okay, it's not bad. And double click again to reset. If I change this to two, then I would have two columns. If I change it to eight, you, you yeah, you kind of get the idea. For part six, we will explore Plotly graph objects and the figure object. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. And if you want to support the channel, you can always leave a like, a comment, two comments, or just 
subscribe to the channel. That might be easier. Thank you all for your support. I've seen a lot of new subscribers in the channel and that really makes me happy. So I'll see you in the next video.